Battle Stations 21 is certainly the most significant training the recruits receive in terms of emotional impact. These recruits are getting out of it exactly what's intended, and that is that, that uh, emotional shock and, and to go through some fear, and no place else does that uh, like we do it here. The coal is being honored every day uh, with the recruits that come through this trainer. So for me, a USS Cole survivor, to be working here, um, I, I can't imagine ever doing anything else. Uh, and it's, it's, it is immensely rewarding. I'm uh, Jason Mosier, and I was an FC3 on the USS Cole in 2000. When the attack occurred, I was in the mess line. It was a normal day up until that point. Then as I'm in the mess line uh, for lunch, uh, there's this huge, loud, very sudden and brief popping sound uh, and everything went dark and quiet and there was a acrid smoke uh, in the air. It was surreal to say the least and um, for myself and those around me, uh, it, it took a moment for any kind of rational thought of what to do kicked in. Yeah, but the, the initial moment of the attack was pretty disorienting uh, for, for everybody that I was around. U.S. Navy officials in Bahrain today said suspected suicide bombers badly damaged in a terrorist attack in Yemen. American and... sailors were killed, injured, missing. Yemen today, the USS Cole. Yeah, well, uh, I came to Great Lakes in 2003 uh, for my shore duty, uh, and Battle Stations at that time uh, was a, a series of mock-ups that recruit division commanders here at boot camp had put together in one of the old warehouses uh, that no longer exists now. So it was awesome for me to be able to see this being built literally uh, from the ground up uh, as I worked here. Um, I had the opportunity to visit on a you know, somewhat regular basis and see things progress. When it came time for me to get out of the Navy uh, in 2006, uh, they, the word went out that uh, the contractors were hiring people uh, to, to work here. Literally every new sailor that has come into the Navy since before I started working here in not just at Battle Station, but before I came to the Naval Station Great Lakes in 2003, at that time, uh, the USS Cole was incorporated into Battle Sta into that leg legacy Battle Stations. In less than two or less than three years after the attack on the Cole, it was already uh, being kept fresh in every generation of sailor that has come through boot camp. That in itself can't be quantified. You know, it's it's amazing to still see that happening. There were sailors on there that were heroes, that went in there and saved their shipmates and put their lives before everybody else's. And they died doing that. You need to put forth every effort to get inside wherever those bodies are at and to get them out. Because you know what? That might be you someday. I'm going to save my shipmates no matter what. No matter what, I will save my shipmate. I will go in there, I will grab them, and I will get out as soon as possible. The event takes place uh, at first on a mess deck, uh, which is basically wrecked. Um, it's uh, made to look like the entire mess deck was just destroyed in, a, in an explosion. Um, the, the clock on that mess deck is set to the time uh, of the attack on the USS Cole. And uh, the rest of the details are I won't discuss them, but they're designed to impress you know, what might actually happen to people in such an attack uh, on, on the recruits. It has a pretty powerful effect. I think the clock is the biggest one, though. The clock being set to the time uh, is it's significant you know, to me. It's a good way, I think, to memorialize the cold uh, in a really tangible way. Again, every sailor that's come through boot camp in the last 17 years has 
been reminded of it uh, and been reminded of its impact. Sending sailors to the fleet with this training just gives me hope that they'll be able to respond better. Um, the, the crew of the coal fought very hard and very effectively to save that ship. So that's not a critique of you know, the actions of my shipmates. But I can only imagine that with an experience like this under their belts, it'll just cause them to act sooner and, uh, and fight even, even better and more effectively uh, than we did on the coal. But I think the most important legacy is that uh, today, the coal is, is sailing. She's out there. Even with as much damage as she took, uh, she returned to the fight. And, um, you know, the coal's motto is uh, Gloria Merces Virtutis, which is glory is the reward of valor. And uh, I think she's exemplifying that today uh, with the recovery and, and how quickly she returned to sea. Uh, I think as long as the USS Cole is at sea, um, it will be a reminder to the Navy and the rest of the world that we're not going down easy. If you try to knock us down, we're going to come back in surprising ways, like we did with the coal. The most important thing to me uh, about working here and, and keeping the coal's legacy going is hoping that the families, families and the loved ones of those who lost um, some of my shipmates uh, can know that that loss is not in vain and that every day uh, they're being honored, their memory is being honored um, by what's going on here at Battle Stations. <laughs>